it looks yes. like we're going to be getting into the next set. That's uh, Tilde versus King Arc, Falco versus Mega Man. Now, this is going to be an interesting set. You know, I mean, well, we're in New York. You obviously see it. <laughs> you have to see it, you know, at least once or twice if you're in or even watching these streams. Um, we have King Arc, and that is Mega Man, Falco. And the thing about this matchup is, is that we have one character who can kind of just deny, you know, zoning, and we have mm -hmm. a character who just needs to be in range. Not really more zoning per se, but they can control mid range pretty well. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, yeah it, talking about Mega Man like that, it's weird because you can so, uh, zone with Mega Man, but it's very much like a mid range is the optimal space. Absolutely, it's not yes. quite uh, straight zoning. But getting right into game one, uh, Smashville on that one, a small stage, so we're going to see uh, perhaps not too much zoning on this one, a lot of mid-range play. Absolutely. Now, um, we're seeing a little bit of Tilde in the lead here, just making it really hard for, you know, King Ark to actually kind of play the game that they want to, kind of get their damage, get their combos, and get their advantage kind of going on here. Mm -hmm. And that's a strong uh, tool we've seen right there. Uh, Falco's Reflector putting out a hitbox very far, reflecting forward, a very strong option in the mid-range here. Uh, good effect. And Tilde going deep. Tilde is aggressive. Tilde goes for all the cool looking stuff. Absolutely. They're definitely, like, you know, just as a character, Falco has really good up tilt combos, and, you know, when it comes to actually being, you know, like, in advantage, Tilde just knows exactly what to do. You know, not saying that their whole advantage revolves around up tilt, but mm -hmm. Falco, just as a character, has really good mix-ups with up tilt, and just, Ooh. they've been doing so good at keeping King Ark in disadvantage. Although, this is going pretty well for King Ark right now, having solid control of the stage. Tilde can't seem to find their way back. I mean, absolutely for sure, but any hit from these two players nice. is going to kill like that back air coming in from Tilde. Absolutely, we love this. Anyways, um, this is kind of where we're going to see Tilde maybe slow it down a little bit. Going to air dodge right there, but it's Falco. They can make it back. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like that catch on, you know, the Metal Blade there. Just kind of trying to use it, especially to kind of give him a little bit more information. And just look at this advantage here. We are mm -hmm. seeing Tilde just absolutely... Oh, and nice. the tech too! Got the tech. Me... Oh That's still going to be a punish on the... Uh... God, I don't know what to call that because it's Firefox. I don't know that it's Fire Falco, but... You know... <laughs> we have Fox Flash and we have Wolf Flash. Right. And you know, I'm so sorry, but the spaces, the names that they have for each other, it's just... Nice, good tech again. Actually doesn't get the punish on the upbeat back to the stage. Dang, Absolutely. that was a quick recovery. So crazy. But, um, you know, looking just at this game, it may look very even, but honestly, Tilde has been doing so good at just holding advantage and just doing everything that they need to do to actually just like, you know, really put this kind of, you know, fear into King Art. Yeah, it's, um, all right. Let's trip on that one. Actually gets King Arc with the latter half of the up smash on that one. Very active. I'm surprised that that still got a strong hit as it did. All right. Leaf Shield out of that one. That was actually a smart call. That was a little bit of an ambiguous punish situation. So Leaf Shield, uh, safe on shield. Uh, King Arc can back away if it wasn't a punish, but gets the percent on Tilde if it was. Very nice. Absolutely. Now, um, just kind of doing a very nice instant double jump up there coming in from Tilde. Definitely love that little bit of, you know, just cool Falco things. I think people don't think Falco is cool, but Falco is kind of cool. And I just love, you know, a lot of the situations where you will spend a lot of time into disadvantage from this character right here. They do so much damage and it's almost like Bayonetta Ooh. to an extent where they just keep you in advantage, but never mind, you are gonna get down aired by King Ark, and King Ark is gonna kind of even up these stock counts and just wow, look at this. And another down air, please. Absolutely, we're gonna see another down air and we're gonna see that combo and then we're, and maybe not, I lied, I'm so sorry, but. Uh, <laughs> Although Tilde doing a good job actually grabbing that Metal Blade on the way out. Oh, very scary spot. Ops to go for the tech chase on that one. Uh, King Arc keeping it cool and staying over at the ledge, not falling into the forward smash. Uh, this is looking very scary for both parties. Falco is not that heavy. All right. Absolutely. Oh, and no! that nice back air. Oh, my God. Okay, so there are a few things that I kind of really want to talk about just from Tilde. Their patience has been immaculate. You know, granted, a lot of the times, you know, they kind of just got hit 
out of whatever they were trying to read from King Arc. However, it was still a lot of the times where he just really wanted to hone in on what King Arc was actually doing in a lot of very aggressive situations where, you know, King Arc was actually in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, just very nice. They got that back here after they air dodged, and that was honestly just a really amazing first game from both of these players. Now, I know I didn't talk about, um, you know, King Arc as much, but King Arc, I mean, we definitely love the way that King Arc kind of just, like, controls the space, which they haven't been doing as much, but that's something that is, you know, it's definitely something they might be actually kind of looking for to be able to do. They need to find you know, this like mid-range area that they kind of want to be very comfortable in. And it just looks like Tilde's not going to give it to them. And just very, that I feel that might have been like a little bit of mashing on their part, but just yeah, I mashing mean, if you're going to throw out the side, you might as well. The reflector comes out very quick. Absolutely. And Great very angle nice. to avoid the hard knuckle. Yes, absolutely. And King Mark is making it a little bit more even this game, and we definitely love that. Mm -hmm. All right. King Arc finding his way to center stage. Gonna toss Tilde off. Tilde's coming right back. And you know something funny? Mm. Um, I kind of looked it up. Maybe don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Falco Side B is actually called Falco Phantasm. Falco Phantasm. Okay. And I love that name so much. Oh my god. Oh, very nice right. recovery. I thought they were gonna die for a second. But yeah. <laughs> King Arc's got it unlocked. The back Absolutely. throw off stage. This could be a little bit scary. Gonna have to do. Oh, Ooh. the good wall jump. And that recovery too, they mixed up that recovery so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that angle deep into the stage to avoid hard knuckle. Actually uh, avoided the back air as well, but finally gonna uh, get it with King R here. Now sitting on the stock lead. We'll see if he can get any extra credit Absolutely. on this Absolutely. That's and a good Something start. that I actually really want to point out is the fact that, you know, King Arc really kind of noticed that that's exactly how, you know, Tilde wanted to recover. When, you know, Tilde was kind of recovering, very nice up smash right there, mm -hmm. they absolutely just went straight into the stage, you know, because that actually helps them a lot of times. But since, you know, King Arc was already on the platform, you know, on the ledge, sorry, mm -hmm. already, it was just like, you know, that was kind of amazing. Just kind of like reading that situation right there all together. Mm -hmm. All right, parry on that one. Again, we're seeing that safe leaf shield option on that one. Not committing to anything too hard in case it isn't a punish situation. Uh, very nice because Tilde can get a lot of percent uh, with Falco on this one. As we've seen, uh, Tilde with very creative strings to chase for damage on this one. All right, King Arc's got the crash bomber in there. That'll definitely help with the recovery. Looking for an aggressive forward air back on the stage. Going to toss him back. Now's the chance for an edge guard or ledge trap. Oh, actually shielded the illusion. And you know the thing too, that was so good that, um, you know, uh, Tilde actually noticed that because when you're actually facing away from Falco Phantasm, it's actually really, really, really hard to punish it because it's actually extremely safe on shield if you're not already facing it. Mm -hmm. So very good coming in from Tilde, but gonna lose that stock and right now, I'm actually going for the middle King Arc has middle. been really in the lead, like most of this entire game, and we've been seeing a lot of good situations of an advantage from King Arc right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, the reflector on that one actually was waiting for it with the forward smash. Interesting response. Absolutely. Now, this is looking a little bit scary for Tilde. They have to find some way to take this dot and then some, because that's exactly what they're gonna do. Gonna get that Becker, just not gonna take it just yet. Mm -hmm. They still need this kill. They need to find some way in order to just make it an even game, at least to some extent, before they actually go past the 100% threshold. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of options here from Tilde to try to uh, essentially goad an option out of King Arc. We're seeing a lot of like forward air to space out of the ledge. We're seeing the uh, the reflector off there. And then we're seeing stuff looking for the up smash out of shield, trying to look for a way to close the stock out. But uh, King Arc working with over 100% extra credit now. Uh, strongly in his favor at this point. Absolutely. Now, I definitely want to talk about how you know, Tilde and King Arc just both all together, their, you know, execution has been extremely wonderful these two games. They've gotten every single tech and just, you know, combo attention that they've been able to go for just this entire game. And that one thing that I actually kind of want to point out too is that Tilde actually went for... Oh! What an option! Oh, that was really just going to call out, you know, everything that Tilde wanted to do there. But a very nice game coming I in there from, you know... I think what that was uh, supposed to do, because Crash Bomber was on top, uh, when King Arc ran up, you saw Crash Bomber on him on the kill screen. Um, that, I think, was supposed to cover him in case it was shielded, because then Crash Bomber would have hit him away. 
and kept shield pressure on till they. So that was a very smart option. So look at this. Run directly up. Just goes for it. Absolutely. Very nice game coming in from King Art. Now, this is 1-1. One, one. We're not in best of five. I don't think we actually do best of fives. I lied. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is still a best of five. I mean, best of three. I said best of five again. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm so sorry. And he was running it back to Smashville. Now, this was the stage that, um, you know, Tilde actually won on. And I'm not entirely sure if this is probably one of their most best, like, their favorite stages. Mm -hmm. You know, um, King Ark did get rid of um, Battlefield and Lilat. Um, however, this is definitely looking like, you know, it's still the second best stage. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good right now with 76% uh, on King Ark going for an edge guard potential. Goes for the down smash on that one. Interesting call. Perhaps to call it a read. Um, although King Ark now going to take a little bit of chance in the mid stage, but Tilde once again asserting. It's, it's scary because I feel like this is that conversion range where Falco can get that back air. Oh, actually punished on uh, his punish attempt. Absolutely, and the thing that I kind of want to point out, very is, nice yep. um, flash to back air. The thing I want to point out is that there's not too much of a difference from, you know, these stage switches that we've had here. We had Smashville from the first game, of course, and then going back to... Um, Ooh, not gonna get that tech right yeah, there. Yeah, that was However, tight. they went to small battlefield, and there's not too much of a difference from the stage aside from the platforms. Mm -hmm. So honestly, this is definitely more of just that. Like, I think King Arc has been really, you know, honing in on you know Tilde and their aggressive options for our for more so. Like, honestly, they've just been really good at just like kind of pointing out every single kind of option that Tilde wants to do and kind of punish them for that, and yep. that's amazing. Yep, and we're seeing a lot of options here where uh, King Ark is going in and getting a little bit of aggression in, but not committing too hard. Stuff like the up airs, the leaf shield, although Ooh. input air is unfortunately going to lose the stock. That, that's still, that this is still, so this is still very doable. 85 and an edge guard attempt on that one. Going to go for a phantasm on this one. This is still very workable. All right. Just Absolutely, out. and the th kind of thing that I want to point out is that there's been a little bit of a thing where Tilde is really good there it is. at these Lud Trap situations, but they're not really reacting to a lot of the things that King Ark has been doing. It might have been because they don't really know all of the options, but you know, when it comes to really reacting to a lot of Lud Trapping situations, this is like a kind of play style you can play at the ledge. You know, they haven't really been reacting, especially with Shield. Like, um, I know um, King Ark has been doing leaf shield to get up they've been doing fair they've been um throwing metal blade um diagonally to catch um you know till they in a lot of these um roll distance s type ledges i mean uh, situation sorry yep well it's difficult because things like leaf shield can be uh pulled away from to make ambiguous and it's technically a punished situation but it's pretty tricky to chase although that'll be an excellent conversion onto the back air for the game good stuff absolutely but definitely a good game from both of these players. Very talented, very awesome, and a very good representative of both of their characters. What Falco do you see doing it like Tilde does? Mm -hmm. I don't think you know any Falcos that doing it like Tilde does. And see, <laughs> that, that was a good call, I think, from King Ark, trying to go for the ledge trump on that one into the back air. Actually did react to Tilde getting up, um, and then went for the forward air on that one to try to keep up the pressure. Uh, Tilde there with the up smash, though. Or no, the up tilt. I'm sorry, not the up smash. Um, so yeah, that was good. That was honestly still pretty cognizant, even as uh, King Ark was going in for the offense there. Um, very attentive to try to look for a confirm off of that ledge trump. Um, Absolutely. But getting into 